Mortal Kombat fans, we are here with the Scorpion One Third statue. Uh, yesterday we did the Sub Zero One Third statue. Check out our Facebook uh, Pop Culture Shot Collectibles if uh, you want to see that one. And now we're going to do Scorpion. Here is the box, also designed by Eamon O'Donoghue. Art box. Okay. We're going to cut while we open this. Okay. Here's the uh, top of the box. We've got uh, instructions for how to use the power cord and how to do the switch out heads, because he has switch out heads. We've got COA, which is 172 of 250, 172 of 250. But we're going to use this one as our personal in-house display. So this one will not be shipped to anyone. And the white gloves. My hands are clean. These pipes are clean. Um, all right, we are gonna cut while we open it. Here is the Styrofoam PCS Collectibles, this side up. Please make sure when you open this that it is this side up or the statue will fall out of the foam and break. It's open and we will now unbox Scorpion. A lot of tissue paper protecting him. As I say over and over, um, the uh, Fabric costume, you know, it's a fabric costume. It's stuffed into a tight package to keep it from breaking, just like your clothes. If you buy a nice, you know, shirt, uh, it comes pressed, and you got to take it out, and it's got fold lines, and you got to, you know, you got to dress it up. So here is his chain. It's cold, which means it's real metal. Real metal chain, blood spatter everywhere. Um, let's get this base out. Here's the base. Okay, now we are gonna pull Scorpion out of his box. You may need someone to help you with this. It's pretty, uh, pretty heavy. Here's his metal spear. We all know Scorpion loves his spear. So. As you can see, when they come out, you know, the fabric is all, it's all janked up. You know, you're going to have to dress it. So let's get him on his base though. You can see there is a pin and an electrical connector for the power. Please be careful. There you go. Got some foam. There you go. His costume probably looks a little, little unfluffed out here. I'll get to that. Um, you can fluff the pants up. Also, for fabric, you know, you can get these little handheld steamers, and it really helps with the fabric. Okay. Here's the plug. It's in this little box right here. If you are not in the U.S., you will have to have an adapter. Unfortunately, we, we can't custom customize plugs for different territories. So it's this U.S. kind of plug. This here. Power plug goes in right here. Power is right there. And now you can see the base lights up. Pretty cool. The head. Well, he's got two heads. But this is the human head for Scorpion. So, as you can see, he's got a fabric hood, he's got a fabric now. There's actually a wire that goes through here, so you can adjust the fabric the way you like it. Some people like it pushed up against the nose, some people don't. I like it pushed against the nose. There's also a lot of extra fabric here. This is so you can adjust the neck collar and make it as bunched up or as not bunched up as you'd like. Okay, his head goes in, he's got a plug for the power. Um, there you go. I'm looking from the back so I can't see, but there's extra fabric and you can adjust the fabric. I'll come around later and adjust it when I'm looking at it properly. Now we're going to go to the skeleton head. <clears throat> Here's the skeleton head. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. What's even cooler is the eyes light up. 
and here is Scorpion all put together. Now, as I said, you know, you have to dress these. Uh, I just, you know, I did it. I had to turn them this way so I could see it. So, you know, you got the costume, you got the, the neck folds all going like that. You got the bak baklava, is that what they're called? Balaclava. Balaclava, there you go. You got that dressed properly. The pants are puffed out. Got this, this all right. Uh, and now he looks great.